Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. A few nights back, Cindy and the girls were uh, were not here, and I was getting to kind of veg out and catch up on uh, some of my favorite YouTube channels. And I watched a video from several months ago from Demolition Ranch, and he was testing, by the way, if you're not familiar with Demolition Ranch, <laughs> check it out, it's great stuff. But uh, he was testing Wish body armor. Essentially, he shoots things. And uh, this Wish body armor did about the way that we would expect it, but while he was testing it, this one piece came out, and uh, he, he mentioned that uh, it, it reminded him of the old dragon skin body armor from 10 years ago, or 15 years ago. I don't know, it all kinds of runs together now. But, uh, and he said, he asked if anyone could make some, to make some and get it to him. So I watched that and I thought about it and I have done it. So uh, this is kind of a, a Reader's Digest condensed version of me making this armor in this video. I have a seven video series that will be the uh, playlist um, uh, that's that's attached to this. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But anyway, this is like I said, this is the condensed version. So y'all check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Are our four test pieces. And uh I'm gonna give each one of them a different uh, heat treatment. Uh, one of them is, 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 I'm not gonna do anything to. I'm not gonna heat treat it at all. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Uh, the next one, I am going to heat this to critical temperature in the forge and then just let it slow cool, just to kneel it. Well, not full anneal it. I'm just gonna let it slow cool. I'm not gonna bury it in vermiculite or ash or anything. I'm just going to let it cool at uh, ambient temperature. Uh, the next one I'm going to heat to critical temperature and quench in water. And then the next one I'm going to heat to critical temperature and quench it in oil. Okay. Let's see. Yep, the top is magnetic. The plate is not magnetic. I normalize. Uh, it'll take it a while to cool off to room temperature but that'll, that'll just relax all the steel. Same procedure, non-magnetic, quenching it in water. Once again, it's non-magnetic. I have uh, thrown on some gloves and a face shield, because this is always... All my test pieces are heat treated, so it's it's time to do some shooting. So I'm going to take these to a log and then I'm going to shoot them with progressively more powerful calibers to see which one takes the least damage. Three fifty seven. Since the first three plates failed at uh, 762 by 39, I'm only shooting the fourth plate that has been oil hardened with 223. This is uh, 40 grain, 223 Winchester white box out of a 16 inch grain. Um, I'm actually a little surprised by this. It put a uh, a hell of a dimple in but it did not penetrate completely defeated by 762 by 39 annealed completely defeated by 762 by 39 uh, quenched in water completely defeated by 762 by 39 quenched in oil took a uh, 
223. Pattern that I am going to lay these out. So it's going to be more of a Eastern influenced type of uh, armor, kind of a samurai looking thing. But um, before we harden these plates, uh, I'm going to throw them in the forge, get them hot, forge them flat and anneal everything. I will then grind these into the size they need to be at and start getting them in shape to lay flat. plates are flat and normalized and this is the general configuration they are going to be in when I put all this together. cut in these and that has dropped me a quarter of an inch all the way around but still gives me a minimum of a quarter inch armor and where our weak points are going to be that actually gives me three quarters of an inch of armor so math I have discovered Turn this little fan around on me. I have discovered that as for myself, this is the most tedious part. This is the part that I am most likely to get complacent and screw up. And that is not something I want to do.
slit so it's going to fit where it isn't. Down here. All right. <laughs> And I'm just going to cut these off with a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder. got us a little mascot. Come on, little nut. Work for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. It's made. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I hope it works. It should work. In theory, this should work. But you never know until you test it. So, I'm going to be getting this shipped off to, uh, Matt at uh, Demolition Ranch and well if you see this video they wanted it so uh, but it, it's really heavy I cannot come up with a practical use for this uh, unless it was some kind of like Mad Max scenario Oh, by the way, that rooster eventually lost lost uh, lost his patience with me. But um, anyway, y'all, uh, I really hope you got something out of this, and uh, y'all behave yourselves.